welcome to the second quarter. We have a new topic, which is entitled Body Parts of Animals. But first, let us pray first for knowledge and wisdom. Dear Heavenly Father, we praise and thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you that we survived the first quarter with this online review setup. Grant us knowledge, wisdom, and patience as we embark on this new journey of second quarter. We love you, we praise you, and we thank you. This we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All right. Let us first examine the parts of the insect and how they use them. Are you excited? Let's go. The animal in the video is an insect. An insect has three main parts. The head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Let me show you a more detailed picture in the next slide. Again, what are the three main body parts of the insect? Correct! The head, the thorax, and the abdomen. The head carries the eyes, mouth parts, and the antennae. The antennae are used for filling, hearing, smelling, and tasting. So, what is the body part that is used for feeling, hearing, smelling, and tasting of an insect? Good job! It is the antennae or antenna. Three pairs of legs grow out from underneath the thorax. Most insects have either one or two pairs of wings on top of the thorax. Others do not have wings. So what grows underneath the thorax? Correct, it is the legs. And what grows on top of the thorax? Correct, that's the wing. The insect's abdomen contains organs like the stomach, intestine, and tubes for laying eggs. What's that body part that contains the stomach, intestine, and tubes for laying eggs? Correct! It is abdomen. I have here some examples of insects. All of them have the three main body parts. The head, the abdomen, and the thorax. Number one example, bee. Number two example, grasshopper. Number three example, ladybug. Number four example, butterfly. And last but not the least, mosquito. All of them are insects, and all of them have three main body parts. The head, the abdomen, and the thorax. Don't forget, okay? Now that we have learned about the body parts of the insects, let's now study the fish. Good job! The living thing shown in the video is a fish. The body parts of the fish are divided into two main parts, the head and the body. Fishes are covered with scales or slippery skin for protection. What is it called? Scales. S-C-A-L-E-S. It is the slippery skin for protection. These are the body parts of the fish. Fins. Fins help the fish move forward in a straight line. Turn left and right and go up and down. Again, what do you call that? Correct. Fins. Fins help the fish move. Fish take water through their mouths. Where is the mouth of the fish? Good job! And then, push the water out through the slits found behind their head. Inside the slits are gills. Where is the gill? Good job! Gills look like red brushes. Gills take oxygen from the water so that the fish can live. So what is that red brushes? It's called gills. 
and it helps take oxygen from the water so that the fish can live. Good job! I have here some examples of fishes. All of them have the main body parts like head and the body. Are you ready? Goldfish! Tilapia! And of course, spiderfish! Now that we have learned about the body parts of the insects, the fishes, let us now study the bird. This is an example of a bird. Look carefully. Birds are covered with feathers. Their bodies are held upright by two legs. All birds have wings, although some birds cannot fly. An ostrich cannot fly, but it can run fast. A hummingbird can fly in different directions. It can fly backward, forward, sideways, up, and even down. Amazing, isn't it? Birds have beaks and claws. Birds that eat insects have pointed beaks. Some birds have hook beaks to break the fish they eat into small pieces. Birds' claws also help them get their food. So what does the body parts that help the birds to get and eat food? Correct! The beak and also the claws. If they are using it to pick up some food, it's the pointed beak. And if they need to break the meat into small pieces, they use the hook beak. Good job! Again, the parts of the bird are as follows. They have the eyes. Can you point where is the eye of the bird? Good job! They have the beak. Where is the beak of the bird? Good job! They have wings. Where is the wings of the bird? Very good! They have legs. Where is the legs? Good job! They have claws. Where are the claws? Very good! And of course, they have the tail. Where is the tail? All of it is covered with feathers. I have here some examples of birds. All of them have wings to fly and beaks to get food. We have penguin. Penguin is a kind of a bird that cannot fly, just like the ostrich. Eagle. Our national bird is eagle, Philippine eagle. And of course, chicken. Chicken is also a kind of a bird. Now, let's study the snake. The body of a snake has two parts, the head and the long muscular trunk. Again, they have head and trunk. A snake does not have feet. It moves by slithering or sliding its body from side to side. It does not chew its food, but swallows it all. Look at the video. It uses its tongue to smell. It has good sense of smell and uses it to find food. Be careful! Let us now study the mammals. Cats and dogs belong to the group of animals which is called mammals. The bodies of most mammals are covered with hair or fur, just like dogs and cats. They have muscular bodies. Most mammals have two parts, two pairs of legs, either for walking or for running. Young mammals are fed by mother with milk from their breast. Animals have different body parts. Each body part has its use or function. 
animals use some parts of their body for moving around. Getting food! Breathing! Caring for their young! And protecting themselves! Animals are indeed wonderful creations of God. Let us take care of them and love them. It's quiz time! Which of these two animals is a mammal? Letter A or letter B? And the answer is letter A. Good job! These are the hard skin of the fish that protects them. Letter A, gills, or letter B, scales. And the answer is correct, scales. Which of the animals moves through slithering? Is it letter A, ladybug, or letter B, snake? And the answer is great job, it's the snake. They look like red brushes that take oxygen from the water so that the fish can live. Letter A, gills, or letter B, scales. And the answer is letter A, gills. Good job! Which of the animals uses beaks to get food? Is it letter A, bird, or letter B, monkey? And the answer is letter A. Good job. Good job, Caleb. I am so proud of you. I love you. I miss you. And God bless you. Bye.